Straight from the heart tonight. He's more than 70 years old. Jim Lambert is still finding a way to volunteer, doing something he loves, flying. Epicosaurus introduces you to a pilot with a mission to help people. To me, it's like sitting in your living room. In the cockpit <laughs> of his plane. For making. That's where Jim Lambert feels most comfortable. My wife will tell you that any pilot is looking for any reason in the world to fly. Back in the early 90s, his first wife needed an organ transplant. While talking to a couple from North Carolina at the hospital, he found out about Angel Flight Source. After my first wife passed away, I looked up the group and started flying with them in 92. Pilots like Lambert donate their plane, time, and fuel to help families in need. In the 36 years since Angel Flight Source has been around, they've been able to help over 39,000 people. Lambert says since he started flying in 1992, he's been able to help hundreds, if not close to 1,000 people. He's helped kids like Alex, who suffered severe burns when he was just five years old. As bad as he was after the fire, to see where he is today is amazing. And, uh, He's probably eight or nine years old now. The youngest patient, a three day old baby born with a rare disease. None of the f people had ever been in an airplane in their life of any kind. So they were deathly afraid, uh, but they were willing to put aside that fear to get that baby the treatment it needed. Lambert's touched the lives of countless families all over the southeast. You know, people say, oh, you aren't paid. I said, yeah, I'm ri richly rewarded. If you need help getting any medical treatment not offered here in central Georgia, Lambert says he's always looking for the next flight. In Macon, Abigasaurus 13 WMAZ News. If you know someone who needs to get some medical treatments who live in central Georgia or you're a pilot and you'd like to join the organization, visit 13WMAZ.com for more on how to get involved.